Okay, you know me, I went ahead and did it, and I added me a little bonus footage, because of course, as a guitarist, I'm going to check every speaker and every piece of equipment I have for uh, use with my guitar. So for those of you that may be wanting to buy this speaker to go out and play in the park with, because you get a 10-foot cord on your microphone, take a little microphone stand with you, take your guitar... Um, you, like I said, if I check the wireless microphone, too, and see exactly what we're getting out of that, you might take a 25-foot cord for your guitar. That way people up front might be able to hear you put a little speaker in the back uh, because it is completely wireless. It is completely Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and see what it sounds like with the guitar. First of all, when I first plugged it in, I had my guitar set to zero on the EQs. And so this is a microphone input. It does have options for two microphones. But I am going to use the second microphone port for the guitar. So let's see what that sounds like. Absolute trash. So if I take it down to like 50% on, <clears throat> I'm going to want to adjust my volume control here because the volume control on here will only work the microphone. So now if I take it down to 50%, let's see what we got. Still kind of 20, needs a bass boost. So luckily, this guitar is equipped with an equalizer. So I'm going to go ahead and jump that up, mid-contour it, and go now we have a little bit more of a sweet sound, but still a little too loud, so I'm going to take it all the way down to 25%. There you have a really nice sound. So, that actually doesn't sound too bad to me. I don't know what it sounds like to your ears, but I am getting a pretty sweet sound out of it. Um, they actually are a pretty nice pair. In fact, I may go ahead... I may go ahead and... That's interesting. It doesn't seem like my equalizer bypass is doing anything for me. There it is. Oh yeah, listen to that bass. So remember I do have a bass control knob. Pretty well paired with this speaker in terms of volume and sound. So let's get a little beat kicking and see what goes on. So maybe even drop it down to like 20%. Obviously, if you're listening to this through a laptop speaker or if you're listening to this through um, 
your phone speaker, you're going to definitely get a different experience. So make sure you plug in some high quality headphones um, or plug it into a decent sound system so that you can hear exactly what the speaker would sound like if you were sitting here in person with me. So go ahead and put the guitar away. I'll go ahead and put the speaker away, get it all charged up. We'll go ahead and take this microphone out and see exactly what it can do in terms of range, distance, and sound. All right, we'll see you out there. Part three, come on.